I feel unnecessarily entitled due to where I was born, my gender, just automatically entitles me to healthcare access, right? The fact that 3.7 billion people weren't born like that is fundamentally a social injustice that I do not believe in. I do not think is justified, and that's obviously why I decided to try and do something about it. I think there is where you see um, you know, real poverty coming from the UK. Going to university in London, you sort of uh, don't realise how lucky you are. But went there, really obviously loved the experience and certainly changed my worldview. I ended up with an internship in a large pharmaceutical company looking at access to medicine, how to discount healthcare products, but open up large customer bases in the process. So lower cost medicine to reach hundreds of millions of people in India absolutely fell in love with the concept of social business in healthcare and really just creating new business models to support health for all. Went back into the UK, focused on consulting, working for the NHS and really saw how a health system could be structured and how digital health worked. So healthcare in emerging markets is incredibly difficult to access. We talk about Philippines or India, it's 60 or 70% of your health expenditures you pay out of pocket. Health expenditure globally pushes 100 million people a year into poverty. 52% of the world, or 3.7 billion people, cannot access any healthcare at all. So REACH52 is a Singapore-headquartered social enterprise. We focus on last-mile healthcare access in rural areas. We work across the Philippines, Cambodia and India and really at the core of what we do is we've built a number of technology platforms that allow one or two women in a village and the community health workers to provide better support. By that what we mean is collecting data on healthcare needs, organising rural health events, ordering medicines, ordering insurance plans and really looking to bring healthcare services to rural areas uh, through the communities themselves. DBS Foundation wanted to challenge us to grow faster, so we took all of the funding they gave us and we launched in India. We've opened an office in Bangalore and we wanted to work with three on-the-ground NGOs to launch this service, collecting data, connecting patients to government and NGO healthcare, as well as offering our discounted or affordable insurance and medicine products. And none of that could be possible without the funding and support of, of DBS Foundation. The last five years of my life have been some of the longest hours I've ever done, some of the longest weeks. But now as we start to make progress, the experience that we've got as an organisation uh, really allows us to build quite a complex, comprehensive service in areas where no one else can. So yeah, really hard work is key to, to making good things happen.